I'm Midnight Mule and welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. My game week one wasn't great, but I'm not going to trash my team either. I had Kane as captain and that wasn't such a good move, but I've dumped him now. I've already got Haaland in. However, there may be some people out there that are just starting this week or else you want to throw your team away and play your wildcard now. So this video is for you. I've organized this by team because I think that's helpful to show the class players that we've got straight away and if you're going to pick these off the menu you can do it team by team that's a whole lot easier I think so from Liverpool we can have Trent in defence very attacking players you know and then effectively Salah and Nunes up front from Man City we've got Cancelo and Walker at the back with Haaland at the front from Arsenal we have Ramsdale in goal Martinelli he's a midfielder but he kind of plays up front and then Saliba is a defender who looks awfully good and he's only four and a half million. From Chelsea, we have Rhys James at the back. From Brighton, we have Welbeck, who obviously plays at the front. Wolves, we have Neto. Leicester, we have Ward. At Fulham, we have Andreas. Brentford, we have De Silva, who is very good at the weekend. So the whole potential starting squad for this coming weekend would be Ramsdale in goal. Then Trent, Cancelo, Walker and James at the back. Salah, Silva, Neto in the middle with Haaland, Nunes and Welbeck up front. Then on the bench, the order I'd suggest on the bench is Ward, obviously the goalkeeper. Then Saliba, Andreas and De Silva. Now you could play Saliba instead of Neto in your main team. It's hard to say which one's going to be better. I would probably play Saliba, but that would be then five defenders and you've got two Arsenal boys at the back. And so if a goal goes in, you've lost two clean sheets. Um, so toss a coin if you're not sure. I would probably do De Silva though if it was me. <laughs> and then captain is obviously going to be between Haaland and Salah. But for me, predictably, it's Haaland that gets the captain's hat, the old mule hat. And I wouldn't be surprised if I keep him as captain for the next 37 weeks because I think he could be quite good. So that is my suggestion for a game two wildcard. I think it's pretty good. And if I was going to wildcard, I currently think that's obviously the team that I would do. If that was useful, please give a like. If you love it or hate it either way, or even indifferent, a comment would be very nice. And a subscribe would be appreciated as well. Hopefully some of that was useful and interesting. Bye for now.